Jagex wants to allow a 500,000 GP fee to fully customize a raid. Now you do still have to have three combat and two puzzle rooms. Um, so it's, you can't just have one room and then go into Ulm, but basically it's fully customizable, but you need to pay a half mil per raid. And, uh, my, well, I'll let you guys, you know, share your thoughts and then I'll share what you guys probably already heard from me on Twitter. Yeah, uh, GB, you got your thoughts collected on it. Cause I, I'm not going to lie. I, I remember reading that and I was like, well, that's good. a lot to um, read yeah. and I, I don't care enough anymore, but I, I did take a look at it. So, uh, you could go ahead first. So. so again, I took, I took, I also took a brief look, um, but I think I think it's fine, and here's why. So, if you're a main, I'm not gonna lie, money shouldn't be a fucking problem. And if you're doing fucking chambers as a main, like solo chambers, and you're not going for wreck, and you're just doing it for fun, even even more so then, it just shouldn't be an issue to cough up 500k for a raid, right? But I think if you look at the totality of the player base and considering there is a fraction that's significant that is like Iron Man, right? Where GP isn't exactly the easiest thing to get, right? You can't just sell off your dupes to the GE. That's not how it works. I mean, I think that the customizability can maybe uh, scale in price. So if you want something that's fully customizable, it can be 500K, right? But let's just say you want one specific layout. You don't really care which order the rooms are or which what the rooms are, but you know you just want a five room. You know you want it and it's 100K I don't or 200K. I don't think people are really going to bat an eye at that right um and i think that's i think the changes in and of itself are a good concept um i think people just spend way too much time scouting you know and it's just like mm -hmm. man i just want to get in there and, and get it done and, and, and do it but you also don't want to lose uh the i guess the uniqueness of every room in chambers right so yeah. maybe you'll never run ice demon unless it's in a unless it's in a cm and I'm not saying that would suck for you, but that may suck for the game in general. Uh, if everybody just fucking hates Ice Demon and no one, no one appreciates, you know, a good surge. So, so uh, let me just push back real quick. <clears throat> sure. Why? Why is it important? Well, here, I'm gonna just give a hypothetical, and then I'm gonna share why I think it's completely just an invalid point, or just not invalid, but like there's a there's a different solution entirely to this problem. So. People, and I had arguments on Twitter saying, like, no, like, there's something special about the uniqueness of chambers and how, like, every room needs to be done occasionally. Even though mm -hmm. the vast majority of people will literally always skip vanguards or always skip whatever their most hated room is in chambers and just literally never do it if they're running normal cocks. And there really hasn't been a problem with that. Like, people just want to do what they want to do. So my concern is... Jagex is my, my biggest concern is that scouting is still in the game after s over six years and scouting is just inherently bad game design it's just dog shit and we should entirely remove it and the only way to entirely remove it is to have zero fee for fully customizable raids because as soon as there's any fee people will not pay it and your the scouting will still be a recurring theme where it's just like I don't want to pay this fee e I mean even if even if they were to drop the fee to 50k, well, at that point, why even have the fee in the first place? But if yeah. you make it somewhere like in the 200k, like there's still going to be the average Joe, which is the vast majority of people running chambers that are still not going to want to pay that. And so scouting is going to continually be a thing. And the only way to fully get rid of that is to allow you to just go to the board, select exactly what you want and fucking run the raid. And if people and if people's concern is that the uniqueness and the randomization of chambers is so charming, which I disagree with in the first place. But even if people, you know, if, if I somehow conceded to that, that is an entirely separate issue that we need to address in and of itself. Like we need to look at Ice Demon. Ice Demon sucks. Not only is it bad points, but it's just unfun. It's just like, what the oh, hell yeah. is going on here? Same with yeah. thieving. It's just unfun. Like, this is stupid. So just fix the inherent problems that, like, everybody, nobody wants to run those rooms. So address those. But that is a completely separate issue. And we could right now make 
the customized, the fully customizable uh, raids completely free. And then later down the line, when Jagex has the time and the resources, which they clearly do, but like nothing's getting done, <laughs> just address those rooms. And that's a separate thing. And then you actually do have that variety where like, hey, Ice Demon doesn't suck ass and I could actually just run it in my I mean, raid because I want to do it. I mean, I honestly, that does not sound like a bad solution. I just, I think we may have reached a point of no return uh, where like people are just so used to, I'm not going to say like catered, uh, catered updates, right? Maybe that's poor choice, but I think we've reached a point where people are so used to uh, having the ability to make their life easier, right? Whereas like when you think about like the OG RuneScape days, right? Like shit. Man, when I was like fucking like six, seven years old, I was just killing cows, you know, and just selling the cowhide, and I was just so happy and all that shit, and I was just super <laughs> copium based. But that's that, like that's that's not gonna cut it today, you know. Yeah, like yeah. I'm just not gonna make that kind of money killing fucking cows, you know. Uh, but that, I mean, that that kind of translates to uh, to like Chambers, right? For example, Chambers was super popular, right? Tob was super popular, but all of those raids. They, they, they have a certain uniqueness to it. So I do agree, like, I think, I mean, yeah, Ice Demon fucking sucks, but let's make it so it's not shit, right? Like, uh, I think, like, what, the Major used to, in Inferno, right when it came out, the Major used to uh, drag into melee distance whenever it was reviving something, right? So, like, they didn't just, Jagus didn't just say, oh, deal with it, right? They, oh, they changed it. Now, r granted, it was not six years after the release of Inferno, but... I think the same principle can carry over. Um, but maybe you can pay, like, I don't know. I mean, scouting just fucking sucks. Just get... I remember scouting, like, almost a 1,000 on my iron. And I know you've done probably way fucking more than me. Yeah. No, I mean... And I just couldn't handle that. And I was like, fuck this shit. This is so stupid. I just want to raid, and I just want to send it. And, that you know, That is... Scouting, scouting that is such it's a... Just, that is such a based response. Is like, just I just want to raid. Like, I just want to yeah. fucking enter the raid and start playing already. And yeah. before I let Hemi's go, I know I'm going on another rant, but <laughs> like, okay, th with this update, by the way, I personally think all Iron Men, if this current proposal gets implemented, which would be a shame, and I think there's way better solutions, if it does get implemented, I wouldn't lose sleep over it, first of all, and I, I think Death's Coffer should be able to pay for these fees. Oh, yeah. I think that makes perfect sense. Um, yeah. The people that aren't against this the people that are totally for this will be the people that spend 500k every single raid to get a fully custom layout which is so dumb because they're the exact same people that are saying no the charm and the uniqueness of chambers needs to be maintained uh, over everything else so people need and they're the exact same people that will literally never do a randomized raid again because they're rich enough to just be like fuck that i'm gonna just send whatever yeah. i want that is so backwards and i just feel like people need to see that <laughs> like i if this update gets implemented i will always do fully custom layouts i will literally chuck all my uniques into death's coffer and enjoy the hell out of chambers and spend the money but for the average joe this isn't going to change shit because they there's no way they're going to pay that fee every time so the only way to fully get rid of the scouting problem is to make it completely free. Because that's deep down what everyone wants. They just want to have fun. They want to go in with the rooms they've selected. Now, there's still challenge mode. So you still, eventually, for those noobs out there, you still need to eventually learn every room if your end goal is to get the kits and the dust and all that. But I really don't think that the charm and the uniqueness and the randomization is anything to be like worth having over just eliminating scouting entirely. Hemis, what are your thoughts? I think you touched on something really good there, which was um, the concept of, you know, uh, the people complaining about it, or the people talking about this concept of, uh, you know, like, oh, it's it's so charming to not have to, uh, to have the randomness. Those guys really aren't going to be doing it. And uh, uh, I think we see that theme in a lot of different things where the people complaining about it are not the people suffering from it. And the people, uh, you know, the people that do suffer from it don't don't might not have as much of a say because maybe they're not, maybe they're newer players, maybe they, you know, they don't care about fucking RuneScape Twitter because they're newer players. It's like good on them, you know, like thank God, just get the fuck off RuneScape Twitter. But um, 
Yeah, no, I, I, I did that's think that was based. really good thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's a, you touched on a great point with that. I, I personally am just, I used to, I used to be, I don't know, I used to really want to care and like do a lot for the game and like try and like hope for like good updates and stuff. Now, I, this is one of those updates that I, when I said like, I, I just kind of read it and was like, oh yeah. I really did just kind of start coasting and go like, okay, well, that's it. You know, like this is, I saw fucking people, same thing with the star shit. Like everybody was getting, getting into arguments and shit. And I was like, bro, like I, I'm not reading that. Like I just fuck it. I was like, oh yeah, whatever. But the one thing that I did have to say about the, uh, the new scouting changes is, you know, sc scouting good, but they, from what I understood, they said that, Basically, they're going. You can pick absolutely anything. So if I want a fucking, if I want a shaman, tecton, uh, guardians room, like I don't think that's a possible layout right now, but it will be possible because uh, with the new scouting changes, where you can just pick anything you want. I, I don't, I don't like that. Uh, I think they should stick to you can pick anything out of what you can currently pick right because otherwise then we're we're t we're we we sort of have i don't want to call it legacy it's not legacy but um mm -hmm. we have six years of you know everybody like these this is what's possible this is what's runnable and then now we're going to uh i don't, I don't know to wipe that all away i don't i don't i want to make it clear that this isn't a problem with like you know we we don't want to change it i think it's more the problem isn't that it's change. I think the problem is that it's, um, they're throwing unnecessary complexity into a situation, and that tends to produce unwanted consequences. From you know whether or not someone's someone's gonna find something and they're gonna be like, oh my god, like this is AIDS now, or like oh we have to change all this, and like oh the records are you know like we're I don't think when we asked for. So when we ask for scouting changes, I don't think anyone was sitting here and saying, hey, we have to be able to pick any layout we want. I think people just wanted to say like, oh, you know, I I want a layout that we have right now. I just don't want to have to fucking scout for it, right? Yeah. By throwing in this additional element of like, okay, so now you can pick, you know, whatever layout you want, but we're also going to change like, several other very vari variables and you can and now you're capable of doing um you know picking everything and now people are gonna so like vtvs are i don't know maybe v vtvs are probably still gonna be the best thing but like people are i don't know i think it's gonna change a whole lot of metas and make things uh whenever they change several different variables i i think they're opening themselves up to things going wrong and uh if the way i see it if people didn't ask for that you know nobody nobody fucking asked for explicitly to pick every any you know to mix and match my raid i just wanted to you know not have to fucking scout for a vtv mm -hmm. right or like someone just wanted to not scout for their fucking overload raid right uh, i think you know just give people what they wanted and don't, you know, don't overcompensate sometimes if it's not necessary. Because I, in the past, I've seen, like, the, I don't even have to, I can't even count the number of times that Jagex is like, oh, shit, like, people are complaining about something. And then they add one fix. So they fix the problem. And then they add, like, 15 yep. other things. And then everybody's fucking complaining about the other shit now. And their PR goes down the shitter. And then they also, and uh, well... This is this might be projecting, but I think that how they interpret it is like they asked for they asked for these changes. We implemented these changes, and we're still getting backlash. Okay, and then they just start like undermining the 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 seriousness of some of our critiques because it's like well we got flamed anyway. Like clearly, what you were flaming us for wasn't that important, and it's like no 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 no. You just started adding different shit, and then yeah. Yeah, no, that's that, that they the do have a track record of overcompensating. However, I actually don't think the overcompensation in this particular example is unwarranted. I think it's totally fine. I think 
the the fact that you can actually just set up any custom raid is going to be pretty nice. And like you said earlier, who knows? But I still think a VTV is still going to be just the preferred run runnable raid. I think it's just their overall like because they're using a legacy system with that. If this were to be implemented, they would rather just kind of overhaul the whole thing just to allow because there's going to have to be some engine work into just going mm -hmm. to the board and yeah. selecting a raid. So I think the way they're doing it without just two wheels that are the, you know, the cycle. Of how, <laughs> yeah, how they go. Just, yeah. So I remember like on my iron, like I tried VTVs when I was going for the like, GM time. And all I remember was this sucks. Like, like just with my shit gear, like it just wasn't gonna cut it but when i switched to like you know mud, like a mud guard vest rotation i was like i'm actually like cranking this you know and so whether it's rng or not i don't know but i do agree i mean it does need some of that like unique feeling and if you're gonna fully customize it maybe paying gp isn't the way to go and just make it free 